This isn't appropriate music, is it? Let me turn off the moves for now. <laughs> and just put on regular Wayne Wave. I'm trying to look for like a, a horror movie channel or a horror radio channel for video games. But alas, that is a little difficult to find. This is from Final Fantasy XIV. At least I think it is. Yes, welcome to the finale of Lost in Vivo. I hope it is. Because otherwise we're going to be here a very long time. I need a second to catch my breath because I just ran up the stairs. Which for some reason, like, completely took it out of me. I hear it's getting spoopy in here, indeed, Maelstrom. I'm like, in terms of like fitness, I don't really do checkups, but I think I'm fine health wise. Like, I can do my job pretty well. I don't have breathing issues. I'm actually healthy pretty all, all around, outside of certain lingering genetic problems with. Uh, my nose, but that's it, really. I used to have, um, a, an issue with ear imbalance when I was younger. Which made me dizzy a lot of the time, but that was, that, that's, that's gone now. No obsessive genes here. I was going to do a liquid bit, but I'm not liquid. I've got the not no obsessive genes, brother. I went to the store and bought jeans that were dominant this time. This is very horror music, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's just get into this, because I haven't got time to mess around with music. Dominant Levis. Exactly. Chat. Let's go for news. So I've done the I've done the work now and I've made it actually spooky themed. So the only thing that's not spooky themed right now is the music. Cause I'm too lazy to go get a radio track up just of Silent Hill music. <laughs> Cause what I tend to do. But anyway, let's begin by talking about the, the schedule. Chat, I have added a new game to the spooky Toba schedule. Considering how much time I have here. Uh, yes, the spookiest thing there is Daymare. I'm not looking forward to Daymare. However, we're only going to be doing Daymare if we get to 20 Karma. Currently, we're sitting at 13 Karma. So, you need to get 7 before we finish Silent Hill 2 Remake. Or, we're going to be delaying that game until after we finish Tormented Souls. Which is a game I, I saw Nico Hart play. Was it Nico Hart or was it Sloth's here? It was one of those two. Anyway, I'm playing Tormented Souls because it looks amazing. I saw it ages ago and I've been it's been on my back burner for a while. And so I was like, fuck it. It's basically a Resident Evil fan game. And one of the best ones at that actually. The sequel is coming out next year, so I thought I'd play this before that releases. So yeah. Tormented Souls, that is going to be the next game. Reasoning is I think I'm gonna finish Silent Hill 2 remake pretty quickly. I am doing a lot of parts of that. I think I said I'm going to be doing a, mon a Sunday, a Monday, and a Tuesday stream of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't I can't not play that. That's like my most anticipated game of the year. <laughs> um, so, schedule today. Lost in Vivo. We're going to finish it. It's going to be done. Done and dusted. Uh, and then if we finish early, I might end or I might do some guest the game. We'll see. Uh, and then finally, Sunday, I checked the early access period. It opens at, at early in the morning on Sunday. I need to download the game. So it's going to be 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. is the plan. Uh, might be wondering, Flower, how are you playing this game two days before it releases? Steam does early access for their, for their deluxe edition uh, versions of their games. So I'm doing that. On the 6th, I checked you're allowed to stream early access games on Twitch. 
So, that's fine. I'm not gonna get in, in, into any, any trouble for streaming this game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's move on anyway. So, I've been playing Mega Man X5, chat. Part 2 is going to release soon. Uh, this game... Maelstrom, I know you want to play the X series. Uh, X4 is really good. Uh, X5 is, um... It might be the worst one. And it might be one of the worst Mega Man games I've ever played. <laughs> Reasoning is... A couple of reasons. One, level design is atrocious. It is... Ball bustering difficult for no reason other than to be a, a penis, basically. Uh, enemy variety is really weak. I, I think it actually looks kind of ugly, the game itself, which is weird for an X series because it looks quite good. Um, there was one good level. I like the, uh, the the space level. That was cool. But that was it. Concept alone, mainly. And the worst part is... You know how X4 has cutscenes? Like, anime stupid cutscenes. I long for them back. Because this game does not have any cutscenes. It has static images and people talking over them for about 10 minutes. And the worst offense to that is a character called Elia, I think her name is. This character here. Who, no joke, at every 5 seconds in the stage, she appears to tell you something. I had... During one of the levels, she appeared to be like, Hi, I'm here to tell you that if you stand on that platform, it will go away after a second. So be careful about standing on that platform, X. Two seconds later, X, you're standing on that platform. It will disappear if you stay on it too long. So make sure you get off. This game is pain. I am literally, basically only at this point playing it to finish it. Uh, there's a lot of weird design choices in this. It's a shame because apparently this game was meant to be the finale, but they really fucked it up. But yeah, there's Chadley. She does. She reminded me a lot of Chadley. Right, Echoes of Wisdom, chat. Uh, one more part. Episode 9 will be the last part of Echoes of Wisdom. Uh, I'm at the point of no return. I just need to get some heart pieces and other stuff. I love this game. I think I don't like it as much as Link Between Worlds. I like the more linear focus of Link Between Worlds. The sandboxing can get a little bit, not boring, but just a much towards the end. But we are at the end now, I think. There's a few more errands to take care of. Uh, and then I also finished Harmony of Dissonance, Castlevania. Uh, I, my review, in summary, of what I think of this game not as good a circle, but I loved how it looked. I think this game got a lot of flack when it came out because it looked like a Technicolor nightmare. But I like the weird, like, almost hallucinogenic style that they went with in this game. That like, everything is glowing and popping with colours. Um, the music... Eh, it's... Uh, I will say the soundtrack was very forgettable. I think the best song in it was just Theme. Uh, which they played in the credits. I, I can't remember off the top of my, he my head any songs. I think Circle had a fantastic soundtrack. Um, it brought back a song from Castlevania 4. Awake is amazing. Um, there's not really a song in Harmony Dissonance that I can pinpoint like really liking. There's no, there's no Divine Bloodlines or uh, Bloody Tears in it. Look at that chat. Look at Blooper Team with their 87 on Metacritic. Now, we've talked a bit before about how reviews are not important when it comes to video game releases. But this isn't about that. It's not necessarily about it being like an, an endorsement for playing the game. For me, it's just nice to see Blooper Team get a win. <laughs> because they have had the most divisive history when it comes to video games. Like, Layers of Fear... Loved at, at launched, but as the games went on, people did not enjoy. It became very divisive. Blair Witch, admittedly, was not a good game, but that made people very angry. And then the medium also was very divisive. So it's nice to see the Bloober get a win with Silent Hill 2 Remake. I'm very happy for them. I am... I wouldn't say I've got high expectations, but I have expectations. 
I think it's going to be good. And I hope it is. For them. I said I made interest to you, Maelstrom. Uh, I have been trying to find a game to play alongside Echoes of Wisdom uh, in my own time. And I decided to do uh, Resident Evil Zero, <laughs> since you're playing it. Um, and I'm using this mod called the Item Box mod. So the issue with the original Resident Evil Zero is the item boxes are not universal. You can't go to one item box, put items in there, go to another and get the same items out. You have to do what we call like trains basically, supply runs, where you go between the item boxes and put them in the next one. It is a pain in the ass in the original game. But this makes it so all typewriters are item boxes. Which does break a couple of the puzzles, because it is designed around that idea. But it is a blessing. And it has made the game so much more fun. And I am enjoying it so far. Uh, games right now, chat. Uh, Silent Hill 2 Mimic is, is on here, obviously. Uh, so Iron Meat, I did a quick harvest of this ages ago. It is a kind of a Contra-esque shoot em up game with giant meat monsters. It's 2D, it's a great platformer. Uh, Zootrosis, I've heard mixed things about, but I did like, the, did like the original trailer they did for this game. Basically, it's a game where you play as a park manager for animals, and some of the animals are not quite the same. Uh, Hell, of a, Hell, Hell of the Office is a platformer, similar to Neon White. Look at that fucking logo, chat. I've talked about this on Discord before, but this is the, one of the worst logos I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a bit blurry, but if, if, if you asked me to say what that logo says, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Who made the logo? I feel bad for them. Uh, Silent Hill 2 remake, uh, yeah, obviously. And Bloomtown, again, mixed things, but... I've heard it's alright. It's basically Stardew Valley, but there's a twist, a horror twist to it. And then finally, I'm currently playing two games, uh, Echoes of Wisdom, which is going to finish very soon. I don't know if I do all optional content in Echoes of Wisdom. There's this area that has a lot of going back to it and trials. I don't really want to do it that, that much, but we'll see what the reward is. And Resident Evil Zero, I'm almost done already. Almost done already. <laughs> It's not a long game. It's about four to five hours and I'm almost finished. So yeah, that's it. That's the news today. Let's go through, guess the game, shall we? And then I can remind myself that I'm playing a horror game today. Is it Visions of Mana? Oh, hold on, you guys can't see. I think it might be Visions of Mana, chat. Let's try it. I know it just came out. Okay, it doesn't exist. Okay, so it isn't Visions of Mana then. Uh, what's the what's that game called that looks like Visions of Mana? The um, like a really stylized, almost. But it it came out as a Breath of the Wild like clone, like all the way back then in, in the time. Genshin Impact. Trials of Mana, that's not a bad shout. Okay, oh my god, is it Concord? Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, this game doesn't exist anymore. It shouldn't be on here. Guess the game. I can't believe that. Want to point out that this game had a millions of, of dollars put into it. 65% of Metacritic. Like, look at this. Look, uh, like, it looks so generic. If you told, if you gave me three images of Overwatch, this, and like I don't know Anthem, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. What a disappointment. Do I feel bad for them? No. Do I feel feel bad about the, about the devs who are wasted on it? Yes. I just, I just need to know, like, what was, what was the idea? What was the plan? I need to update this uh, b background scene with, um... <gasps> <sighs> oh, 
tormented souls. I mean, you say it looks generic and like Overwatch. But that's exactly what they wanted. Just no one bought it. That's what you get for designing, for putting most of your money into marketing and then not doing the marketing. Right. Turning the music off, chat, because it's not, you know, it's not very uh, atmospheric. It's time to play a scary game. Oh, I always have fun on the pre-stream. Like, yeah, we're just hanging out a bit. And then I realize I've got to play a horror game. <laughs> 